Hey everyone, and welcome to the new Avance 1501C. Now, this is not one of our big official videos. What I've done here is I've kind of dragged uh, Sean, uh, our lead embroidery technician, into the training room to talk to us a little bit about the new 1501C and what he likes about it versus um, other models and versus the original item. So this is going to be a quick show and tell on Sean's favorite features of the new 1501C 2020. Some of the nice features I do like about our uh, new Avance machine is obviously the touch panel 10 inch screen. Makes it easy to load jobs up by going from the left to the right. We'll select the first icon. As you see, there's one inch colored images of your design rather than just looking at a design name. Uh, another nice feature is it will store 100 million stitches or 800 designs. So it's got a nice size uh, uh, capacity to be able to hold your designs. We'll select our design. We'll go to our next screen. In the screen allows you to rotate, scale your design, and physically see a preview of your design. We'll then go to our next page. Another nice feature I like about this uh, new control panel is these 15 colors here, you can assign these uh, thread colors to the cones you have on your machine. So when you're assigning your, your colors to the design, you're able to see the design in the colors. It's going to sew out by coordinating these colors to the threads on your machine. We'll go to the last page. In here, we're able to select our hoop size to make sure our design fits. In here, you've got all your hoops stored. We'll select a hoop size, click OK. It will automatically center, it'll automatically find the center of the hoop for you, so it takes the guesswork out of that. Um, you see the blue outline of our design. When you trace it, if it does not fit in the hoop, it will turn red and let you know. So. We're watching a, a, a dotted red line actually outline our hoop here. And you see it gets a little close on the side. And if you're uncomfortable with that, it's as simple as going back into the frame and selecting the next larger size. Give you a little more space. And then it recenters this hoop. We're good there. We'll come over here. We'll go into our embroidery status. See our design on screen in gray. Uh, once it starts sewing, it will start highlighting up in the colors you chose. Another cool feature uh, on this machine is you have onboard keyboard lettering. We'll be able to select here. We'll come to the first one. We'll type in uh, ABC. Click OK. We want to zoom in a little bit. We'll see it up close. We come in here, and you've got a wide range of fonts you can choose. We'll go ahead and choose a font style. And next one is you can actually see density. So right now you can see how, how thick the density is. We can increase that density or decrease it. Change colors, simply the next button. You see we change colors here. You can invert it, you can move it. Uh, you could do a straight line, you could do arch. Uh, you can increase the width of each letter or decrease. You can change the size of it. Letter spacing, invert it, sew it backwards, rotate it. There's a lot of features on the lettering that you could do on the control panel itself. All right, that's it. I hope you have enjoyed Sean's little synopsis of the control panel, at least, of the 1501C 2020. Um, it's a very quiet machine. It comes with the, with the light and the laser now. There's all kinds of features on the control panel. And so far, we're impressed. We hope you are, too. If you have any questions or you'd like more information about the product, just uh, head to avance-emb.com or give us a call, and we'd be happy to, um, to tell you more.